The players of the Crimean Tatar football teams Adalet and Q-Hub have gathered on this turf many times before, but on this day, they are playing for more than just sport. The t-shirts they wear over their team colors bear the likeness of Ervin Ibrahimov, a Crimean Tatar activist who was abducted by unidentified assailants two years ago to the day. This match is held in support of Ervin Ibrahimov. This person, as you know, has been reported missing, and so far there is no news from him. And when he was actively engaged in national and public activities, he was really engaged with sports, especially football. Ervin had been a football fan and often played himself. Before he was abducted, he organized tournaments on the peninsula for the Crimean Tatar youth teams. Activists, internally displaced persons from occupied Crimea, and Crimean Tatar leaders came to cheer for the game in Ervin's honor. His friends like Aktim Chigos live with uncertainty, but they have not given up hope. This game in memory of him is the right thing to do. I remember when he brought me the last medal he won in a tournament that I think was in Cyprus. I was still in detention and he put the medal up to the TV and said, Akhtem, this is for you. Unfortunately, I haven't seen him since, but his medal is at my house. I hope that I will see him again. The teams played two intense 30-minute halves. The game ended in a friendly draw, 2-2. Two two. The score and result of this game didn't matter. We played really well and no one got hurt, which is the most important thing. The game was excellent, the atmosphere was excellent, and our mood is just perfect. The organizers say that the main purpose of the match is to show Ervin's relatives that he has the support of Crimean Tatars and Ukrainians. They intend the match to keep in the public eye other activists who have been abducted in the annexed Crimea as well. Every month we hold a rally in front of the Russian Federation Embassy. This time together with activists and representatives of the Mayus of the Crimean Tatars, we decided to hold a football match in support of Ervin's family and Ervin himself. And we believe that this is the way we can also draw attention to the issue. Ervin's whereabouts have not been established yet. Russian-controlled judicial authorities maintain that his abduction was staged in an effort to malign Russian law enforcement.